this is an amulet of protection. It's super easy and so much fun to make and very, very effective. I'm starting out with a square piece of white cardstock. This happens to be six inches, but a little bigger probably is even better. You start out by writing in the center of the card, protect the body and life of, then name yourself or the other person that you're protecting, whom, and then name their mother's name, bore. So it says, protect the body and life of so-and-so, whom so-and-so bore. Now, if you don't know the name of the mother, just say, whom their mother bore. Then you start to write the names of the archangels in the order of the days of the week, all the way around this sentence that you just wrote. So starting out with Mikael, then Gabriel, then Samael, Raphael, Sakiel, Anael, Kasiel, Uriel, and then you repeat. And you just keep going until there's at least a circle of angels around them. Now, if you have room, you can go around so that there's a double or even triple layer of that angelic protection around them. Just fill up as much room as you have on the card. Once you're finished, we can charge this talisman on an altar. Now, if you don't have an altar, just use some sort of table. We start out by cleansing it with salt and water, and then we're going to wave it through some incense smoke. Or if you're like me and you don't like to burn things indoors, I just use an oil lamp instead of an incense burner, and then I wave it through the vapor. I happen to be using frankincense, but any kind of protective incense is fine. Then we're going to burn a white candle. As that candle burns, I'm going to take a moment and just visualize white light moving through the talisman and all through me or whoever is named in the talisman. Then I'll let that candle burn down and out all by itself. All you have to do is hide this talisman somewhere that it'll be safe. You don't have to have this on your person. Those angels are circling you no matter where you go, and that protection will follow you wherever you go. Now, if this gets damaged or something, don't worry about it. Just tear it up and do a new one. The protection will remain with you no matter what. The best day to perform this is on a Wednesday. You can do it on either the waxing moon or the waning moon, but for the most part, I tend to avoid working magic on dark moons. And that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, blessed be.